nurse from Yuba City, and she's also in the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's because when Katherine Johnston Massar was a 12-year-old girl in New York, she made Little League Baseball history. KCRA 3 Sports Director Del Rogers recently caught up with Kay to talk about how she received that honor. Uh, four days in Cooperstown. It was so much fun. Really? And I had to sign thousands of autographs. <laughs> you really think I was a celebrity of some sort. Last month in Cooperstown, New York, Katherine Johnston Masser gave speeches, signed autographs, wrote in parades, and became a permanent part of perhaps the most famous shrine in sports when the Baseball Hall of Fame honored her for something she did way back in 1950. That year, at the age of 12, she became a baseball pioneer. My brother was going out for Little League, and I said, I wanted to go out, and he said, you can't, you're a girl, and I thought, you know, but I'm a good player. So it doesn't matter, girls don't play baseball, that's it. Kay decided that the only way for her to win a spot on the new Little League team in town was to trick everybody into thinking she was a boy, and her parents supported the idea. Kay's mom even helped cut her hair braids, pulled her hair up into the ball cap, and sent her daughter on her way. And so I was able to pass myself off as a boy named Tubby. I took Tubby, I borrowed the name from a little, little comic strip, and said my name was Tubby Johnston. Made the team, and I ended up playing first base the whole season. A few weeks into the season, however, Kay decided to come clean and told the coach she was a girl. But since she was better than many of the boys on the team, Kay was allowed to continue playing. And I took some derogatory remarks from after it became known I was a girl. Some of the parents would yell, you know, well, you're a girl, you don't belong out there because I think I was better than their sons. Kay slash Tubby broke Little League's gender barrier way back in 1950. And in doing so, she created a barrier because suddenly a clause appeared in the Little League rule book and it simply read girls are not eligible to play under any conditions. My father got a call that there are no more you know girls there was a rule saying girls will not play Little League anymore and that they referred to in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, the home of the Little League World Series as the Tubby Rule. Two decades and dozens of lawsuits later, Little League took back the Tubby Rule in 1974 allowing young girls to play ball for good. And now, Tubby herself is celebrated in Cooperstown right alongside the game's greats. In a way, it's still unbelievable to me that I'm actually in the Hall of Fame. I mean, and that is a permanent thing. In Yuba City, Del Rogers, KCRA 3 Sports. The exhibit that showcases her story in Cooperstown is called Diamond Dreams, Women in Baseball. And coming up tomorrow, Dell has details on the Disney movie that will feature Kay's story and the unique, the, the unique role, I should say, that KCRA3 played in making that happen. John?